Hey y'all, happy fall. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Scarlett Rose. For those that are new joining me, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I hope you keep coming back every week. And for those that have been with me from the very, very beginning and tuning in and watching me every week, thank you so much for helping me grow my channel. Hey you guys, today I have a delicious drink recipe and it's new and I'm trying it out with you guys, but it looks so delicious. I was like, hmm, we got to try this, honey. We got to try this. So if you guys are excited about Halloween coming up, or are you excited about hosting any adult parties or any kid parties, I got you guys covered. This delicious drink recipe that I'm going to be making is called Boozy Cream Sickle Shakes. And this could be for adults or this could be for kids. We're just going to take out the uh, the alcohol for the kids and you can still have, the kids can still enjoy this recipe. So let's get started and let me share some of the ingredients we're going to be using today. We're going to be using some Oreo cookies. We're going to be using some orange sherbet. We're going to be using some chocolate syrup. We're going to be using some Spearnoff Vanilla Vodka, honey. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Don't that sound good? We're going to be using some Ready Whip. Because we're going to top this drink off, honey. And we're going to use some 2% milk or whatever type of milk you want to use. We're going to use some uh, sh uh, Sanding Sugar Orange Sprinkles. And we're going to use some chocolate uh, topping sprinkles. So you know what, you guys? Let's get this party started right. I know I love to try new drinks, and I hope you guys do too. So let's go ahead and get into some of these, get into this recipe. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need this blender, by the way. And we're going to use these glasses. All right, you guys, we're adding some syrup, some chocolate syrup to this plate. We're gonna take six cookies, or your cookies that I put in this bag, and we're gonna take maybe your old cup, and we're gonna just mash the cookies. You wanna crumble them up. we're going to coat the rim with these cookies of those glasses. So we're going to pour the cookies, the crumbled up cookies on this plate. And hopefully it's enough. We may have to add a little bit more, more than six cookies. Because it just doesn't look like enough, enough, you know. So let's go ahead and crumble up a few more cookies. This is the easiest way that I know how to crumble up some cookies. Pour that on this plate here. Fall is so pretty here in Ohio. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I know I want to get this party off, started off right with you guys, don't you? So we have the cookies here. 
crumbled up as much as we possibly can on this plate here. Let's go ahead and just make sure still that this is crumbled up really good. Because we're going to coat the rim of our glasses with this cookie. So we're going to go ahead and it says this recipe should use about three, four cups of milk. We're gonna pour this milk in here. We're going to Make sure you got your ice cream scooper. I love sherbet and ice cream. And I think the kids and the adults would enjoy this. My daughter, she walked in, she was like, Mom, what you making? I said, I'm about to make a delicious, boozy, cream sickle shake. So now you guys, we're gonna go ahead and use like eight ounces of vanilla vodka. So, of this vanilla spiranol. Now this is optional. We can leave out the alcohol for the kids, but in this situation, we're gonna just do an adult party right now. But if you wanted to make the same recipe, just leave out the alcohol. No vodka for the kids. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this eight ounces of vanilla Smirnoff vodka. We're gonna go ahead and put the top back on here. And we're gonna blend it up. ahead and wet the rims the top of our glasses first that help coat these glasses to be really pretty so let's go ahead and do that so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and dip this we're going to do the chocolate round and then we're gonna make sure this is coated as well may have to dip it one more time. And let's go ahead and just put this in a circular motion. So stick to this chocolate syrup. All right, doesn't that look yummy? Then we're going to do the same with this glass. And then we're gonna dip it back into this cookie crumb. And let's do it one more time. Back into the chocolate. I notice if I'm doing this twice, it helps it to stick better. So let's go ahead and push these cookies up. 
this cookie crumble around the rim and just put it and spin your glass in a circular motion. This one could use a little bit more, so we're gonna go back for the third time. So let's try it again. Maybe the third's a charm, the third time's a charm, let's see. Get it to coat on there, honey. All right. So that looked like it's stuck on there. What do you guys think? So now what we're going to do is now we're going to take this chocolate syrup and we're just going to Move it around inside this glass. And we're gonna do the other one the same way. Now we're gonna pour this shake. And we're gonna pour this one. We need a little bit more because that one is not even. So let's add a little bit more. We're going to add a little bit more milk. We're going to add a little bit more or not vodka, not that much. We're gonna add a little bit more. Boozy. Sherbert, and add some more vanilla sherbet or orange sherbet. We're gonna put that on milkshake. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and finish topping this off. And that looks even. We're gonna take the witty, whip, uh, the ready whip and we're gonna to top this off. Don't forget, if you haven't hit that like and that subscribe, hit it now. We're gonna take some, we're gonna take some chocolate sprinkles. Let's get a little bit more. Take some of this chocolate sprinkles to sprinkle off the top. And again, if you're not even having a party, you can still enjoy this fantastic drink at home. And if you wanna make this for the kids, just take out the alcohol and the kids can still enjoy it. But I think this is a great drink to host your guests for any Halloween get togethers or fall parties or just chilling at home. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to take a straw. And let's try this delicious drink, you guys. This one is for you and this one is for me. So let's try this out. I think this is a winner, what you think?
Mmm. Mmm. This is so good, y'all. I think this will get this party started off right. Any any type of party you want to have, any get together, any Halloween party, let's kick it off with this drink here. Hey, thanks for watching. And be sure to tune in to some more delicious recipes and drinks I'll be posting weekly. Again, this is a cooking and lifestyle channel. I'm just not cooking and drinking, y'all. So y'all just have to be surprised what I'll what I'm going to do next. Hey, happy fall. You guys have a blessed one. Bye.